Well, all this is Artifacts of Mars. And we're going to profile uh, the faithless electors, the commie liberals that are trying to stop Donald Trump from becoming president in the uh, Electoral College. There's some surprising information here. We're going to start with uh, seven commie liberals from Washington State. Now, I want you to remember how Graham Hillary won Washington State. Electoral College member Levi Gura from Washington State pledges to break ranks with party affiliation to join renegade groups attempt to unseat Trump. I'm not quite getting the logic here. Uh, this commie liberal uh, is pledged to vote for Hologram Hillary. That's right. A teenager from Washington State has become the seventh person to indicate she will break ranks with party affiliation and become a faithless elector in an attempt to prevent Donald Trump from being formally enshrined as president-elect when electoral college meets on 19 December. Levi Gura from Vancouver, Washington is set to announce she joins uh, join the ranks of the so-called Hamilton electors in a press conference at the state capitol in Olympia on Washington. The renegade group believes it's the responsibility of 538 electors to make up electoral college for, show the moral courage in preventing demagogues and other threats from the nation from gaining keys to the White House as founding fathers intended. And yet, you're actually pledged to vote for Hologram Hillary. I stand behind the Hamilton electors, Gura said. I promised those who elected me I would do everything I could to keep Donald Trump out of office. Gura is one of 12 electors in Washington State who on 19 December have been mandated to vote for Hillary Clinton. That's right, she is supposed to vote for Hologram Hillary. But the left is spinning this to make it look like she's actually, they're actually taking votes away from Trump. <laughs> Not so fast. So we're going to take a look at the Hamilton electors, and then I will profile a commie liberal who really is uh, changing the vote from Donald Trump. Here are the Hamilton electors using the name of Alexander Hamilton to uh, further the commie liberal cause. Um, these are commie liberals. I mean, look at this. They're profiled on the Atlantic, which is a, which is a hardcore left-wing nutcase site. Uh... Here we have November 16, 2016, two Democratic members of Electoral College launched moral electors in an attempt to persuade 37 of their Republican colleagues to bail on Trump, lack of selection, and let the House of Representatives decide to speak out on Tucker Carlson tonight. I've already dealt, dealt with this. Um... That's a constitutional crisis that these people are trying to get us in, into. That's not good. And really, they're trying to steal things for hologram Hillary because these are commie liberals. How dare they use the name of Alexander Hamilton, one of the founding fathers? How dare they use his name? That pisses me off. Anyway, so let's take a look at one uh, who really is taking the vote away from Donald Trump and no doubt voting for hologram Hillary. 
name is Christopher Supan, and he's from Dallas. I'm a Republican presidential elector, one of 538 people asked to choose officially President of the United States. Since the election, people have asked me to change my vote based on policy disagreements with Donald Trump. In some cases, they cite the popular vote difference. I do not think the president likes should be disqualified for policy disagreements. That is a lie. I do not think they should be disqualified because they won the electoral college instead of the popular vote. That is a lie. However, now I am asking to cast a vote on ask cast a vote on December nineteenth for someone who shows daily he is not qualified for off office. Fifteen year old years ago as a firefighter as part of the response team to September 11 attacks on against our nation. I'm going to check on that, by the way. That attack and this year's election may seem unrelated, but for me the relationship becomes clear every day. George W. Bush is an imperfect man, aren't we all? But he led us through tragic days following the attacks. His leadership showed and America was a great nation. That was also the last time I remember the nation united. I watched Mr. Trump fail to unite America and drive a wedge between us. Uh, what about the commie liberal that's in uh, Washington, D.C. is about to leave office named Barack Obama? Mr. Trump goes out of his way to attack the cast of Saturday Night Live for bias. He tweets day and night, but waited two days to offer sympathy for the Ohio State community in the afternoon attack there. He does not engage, encourage civil discourse, but chooses to stoke fear and create outrage. That's BS. This is unacceptable. For me, America is that shining city on the hill. Ronald Reagan envisioned that has problems, that has challenges. They can, these can be met and overcome just as our nation overcame September 11. The United States was set up for a republic. As a republic, Alexander Hamilton provided a blueprint for state's votes. Federal 68 argued that an electoral college should determine if candidates are qualified, not engaged in demagogue gaggery and independent from foreign influence. Mr. Trump shows us again and again that he does not meet these standards given his public statements it isn't clear how the electoral college can ignore these issues and so it should reject them. Yeah, and steal the vote for Hallegram Hillary. I have put in the countless poured countless hours into serving the party of Lincoln and electing his candidates. I'll pour many more into faithless, faithful to my party than some in its leadership. But I owe no debt to a party. I owe no debt to children to leave them a nation they can trust. And it goes on and on. And this is a liberal, but a reasoned liberal, at least. Apparently standing with the uh, commie liberals of the uh, aforementioned Hamilton electors. So, here you have a... Uh, basically a commie liberal who... Uh, so going to vote for, either do a write-in for some Republican, or he's going to vote for Hallegram Hillary. He doesn't say what he's going to do yet. Uh, but... 
you know, chin up. All of a sudden, the electors that I mentioned are actually screwing over hologram Hillary, which is fine with me. And this commie liberal uh, hasn't said what he's going to do, other than he's not going to vote for Trump. So I'll chin up. Hopefully these people won't succeed. But we'll have to wait and see. I will say Donald has some stuff to learn. There's no arguing that point. He uh, is going to have to work at it. He doesn't have the experience. I'm uh, very optimistic at what I'm seeing. I like the guy. I'd vote for him again. Knowing what I know today, absolutely I would. I'm Mark Facts of Mars. Thanks for watching. Go Trump.